Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Battle. In this video, we will solve TCS NQT specific previous year questions. So like, comment, subscribe and share our channel if you are looking more such content. If you are looking for detailed preparation, we have complete master class in which we will cover aptitude, coding, DSA, interview preparation, communication practice, company specific training, projects, latest technologies like full stack development, data science and many other things. For more details, connect with us and do subscribe. And let's now start the session, everybody. For more details, connect with us. Now, let's start the very first question, everybody. Okay, let's solve this question. Given a, a question from uh, both systems. And, you know, now given uh, the speed of boat upstream is 40% less than the speed of boat downstream. Fine, directly given a Equation everybody, speed of upstream is 40% less means what it would be, it would be 60% of speed of downstream given 40% less. So out of 100%, if it is 40% less, how much would it be? It would be 60% of the speed of downstream. So from this, what I can say everybody, speed of upstream by speed of downstream is equals to 60 by 100, which is 23s are 25s are so 2 by 5. Correct everybody? Sorry, 23s are yeah, so 3 by 5. Right. So I can say speed of upstream is 3x kilometers per hour. And speed of downstream is 5x kilometers per hour. Right, everybody. So from this, what I can get? I have some other expression. What is that? Or equation? What is that? It takes 13.5 hours to go 120 kilometers downstream and 90 kilometers upstream. All right, so given an expression, everybody or an equation, time taken for downstream plus time taken for the upstream is how much everybody? 13.5 hours. So time taken in the downstream means time is nothing but distance upon speed. Distance of downstream is how much? The distance of downstream is 120 upon the speed of upstream, downstream is how much? The speed of downstream is 5x plus Distance of upstream is 90 kilometers upon speed of upstream is 3x kilometers and that is equals to 13.5 and take the LCM 15x, 853s, 123s, 360 plus 35s, 95s, 450 is equals to 13.5. So following this equation, 15x into 13.5 is equals to how much this would be? This would be 8 to 10 everybody now so solving this equation will give you x value as 4 right so if x value is for everybody what is speed of upstream then speed of upstream is 3x that is 12 kilometers per hour and speed of downstream is how much everybody 5 fours 20 kilometers per hour right now what can be done so what exactly you can do is solve the question required one how much time in hours it will take to go 90 kilometers upstream, sorry, 90 kilometers downstream and uh, 120 kilometers upstream is equals to how much? So time is nothing but distance upon speed again. So what is the distance of downstream this time? The distance of downstream is 90 upon speed of downstream is 20 plus distance of upstream. Distance of upstream is 120 upon Speed of upstream is 12. Right, everybody is equals to how much? Let it be x. Right, the time be x. Now, so from that, what I'll get everybody? 0, 0 gets cancelled. So this is 4.5 plus this is 10. So that's going to give me x as how much, everybody? 14.5 as the time taken. Now, okay, if you have x here, you can take time is equals to let it be t. Or let it be the required one right the answer the answer is equals to how much everybody the answer for the required question is 14.5 hours which is option d hope you understood so this is how you can solve a level three questions from both systems everybody right now moving on to the next one okay this question is from uh, blood relations if you observe look most of the times symbols means gonna be the same like first person is somewhat related to the second person but if you observe here x at the rate y means x is the son of y but x hashtag y means y is the y of x so there is a small 
uh, twist in the tail over here. So we have to be very careful while representing the equation given or the expression. So let's the expression be again just for you. I'm gonna write over here. Now what we can do, everybody. So we can consider it as h at the rate o percent is yes plus t at the rate a hashtag l h at the rate a at the rate means first person is second person the son. So x is the son of y means h is the son of o. Everybody is it clear? So h is the son of whom everybody of o. I can say that. Now, O percentage, percentage means what? O percentage S means yes is the daughter of uh, O. So, yes is the daughter means definitely uh, a wife or a husband should be there for O. And these two couples have two children. One is H and one is O. One is yes, my mistake. So, people, have you observed this point here? O percentage yes means yes is the daughter. So, yes is the daughter of O. That's why these two are siblings. Right, everybody? So this is how you need to be very careful while representing the reverse points. Right? Now, next, uh, S plus T. Yes plus T means T is the father of yes, sir. When T is the father of yes, sir, so this force must be given to T. And if T is father, O will definitely be the mother. So we got one fam family tree, everybody, as of now. And next, T at the rate A. T at the rate says T is the son of A. So T is the son of A. Now again, A should have some couple. If not, let it be ignored. A at the rate L. A, sorry, A hashtag L. A hashtag says L is the wife of A. When L is the wife, A must be the husband, everybody. Right? So this is the family that we have represented. So you have to be very careful when there are some reverse order right so if you do something wrong in the in, instead of doing the reverse order if you just arrange it generally again the entire family tree will be wrong. now let's go with the question which of the following is the correct conclusion from the drawn from the expression okay from this expression what is the correct conclusion yes is the son of l yes is not the son by the way first of all yes gender is a female it is not even a son then what is the relation of yes to l Yes is the granddaughter of L. And everybody, yes is the granddaughter of L. So, wrong answer. H is the daughter of A. H is not the daughter of A. H is the grandson of A, actually. So, again, wrong. Because H's gender is male. So, here itself, we can cancel. L is the wife of A. L is the wife of A. Definitely, yes. Yes is the son-in-law. Son of law. Son-in-law, maybe. So, yes is the son-in-law of T. Yes is son-in-law of T. No. Yes, is the daughter of T. So that says this is also wrong. One. So option D1. Look, by the genders itself, we are able to say that these are wrong answers. Only option C is the correct answer. Clear, everybody? Yeah. Hope you answered both the questions. And hope you understood both the questions, everybody. Thank you for watching this video.